All right, so this is a suggestion via Patreon. The name of the video is uh, Troublesome96, coming from the artist Tupac, guys. Uh, lyrics are pulled up just in case we need them. Let's check it out. Troublesome nigga. <laughs> Troublesome 19, motherfucking 96. Westside. Let it be known, nigga. Boss of all bosses. Machiavelli. <laughs> Menace and methods label me a lethal weapon. Making niggas die with this and breathless imperfections. Can you picture my specific plan? To be the man in this wicked land. Underhanded hits a plan. Uh. Bro, this is an absolute bop, bro. Right in, in every in every way imaginable, this song was put together masterfully. Uh, either, either this is just high energy, high paced uh, delivery over this, guys. I haven't even dug into his words yet. I was just enamored by the overall piece of production that he's rapping over, guys. It almost feels like there's like live instrument samples being used. Uh, it feels good, period. And honestly. It may not even be a live instrument sample. They may have just literally played this in the studio. It feels good. It feels plucked almost, right? It's solid. Let's get it. Let's uh, let's check in. Uh, let's check out what he's saying there, Chris. Let's get it. Troublesome nigga. <laughs> Troublesome 19, motherfucking 96. Westside. Let it be known, nigga. Boss of all bosses. Machiavelli. <laughs> Menace and methods label me a lethal weapon. Making niggas die with this and breathless and perfection. Menacing methods label me a lethal weapon. Um, it could be maybe his words. People were potentially afraid of him, his physicality, maybe, or just his overall thug life mentality, right? That could be probably what he's referring to here, menace, menacing methods. He had a lot of them, right? Menacing methods label me a lethal weapon, making niggas die with this and breathless imperfections. Can you picture my specific plan? To be the man in this wicked land, underhanded, it's a plan. Uh, scams are plotted over grams of rock, outlaws, motherfuckers. That's not what it says here in the uh, um, in the lyrics here. It says undercover agents. Um, so I'm guessing the reason why that was probably changed is because of his incident with the police guys. Scams are plotted over grams of rock. Outlaws, motherfuckers die by the random shot. We all die in the end. So advanced we swung. I was all about my ends. Fuck friends and foes. Right. We all die in the end, so revenge we swore. Um, what he's saying is that if you end me, don't worry, bro. Revenge is coming, and if you understand anything about his his life, I would say, from what I've learned at least, is absolutely my favorite rapper of all times, Biggie Smalls, was d deleted uh, uh, right after him. So, revenge we swore. We all die in the end, so revenge we swore. I was all about my ends, fuck friends and foes. Me, a born leader, never leave a block without my heater. Never do that, bro. Never leave the block without my heater. Never, 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 bro. Ever, ever. <laughs> oh, I don't go outside. It's all about my ends, fuck friends and foes. Me, a born leader, never lead a block without my heater. Got me a dog and named him my bitch nigga heater. What Damn. can they do to me, a little brat? Shit. What can you do? Uh, what can? What do you say, bro? Hold on. What can they do to me, you little brat? Um, I know around his era, like the brat was was kind of popping. So I, maybe this is something to do with uh, the rapper Da Brat. Maybe this is like a subliminal like jab or something. Eater got me a dog and named him my bitch nigga Eater. What could they do to me, a little brat? Shit, the niggas that shot me and still terrified. I get they ass. How can I show you how I feel inside? Right. We outlaws, motherfuckers can't kill my bra. Niggas talk a lot of shit, but that's after them gone. Cause right. they fear me in the physical form. Let them be known okay. them troubles. Yes, yeah, so there was not, nothing really to break down there. They talk a lot of stuff, right? But that's after I'm gone, right? Like, as soon as I leave, you have a lot to say, right? Um, but I think he was referring to his death. Because this guy is, was, like, super, like, um, uh, like prophetic in a sense. Like, he like he knew he was going. If that makes any sense. Uh, and probably another reason why he was so obsessed with uh, Machiavelli to the point where he called himself Machiavelli, right? Interesting things, guys. But that's after I'm gone, because they fear me in the physical form. Let them be known them troubles. Troubles for niggas. Outlaws. Put it down to the bullets. Spitting bombs and bullets. Ha ha. Troubles. Wow. Call the punk bone. The hook is solid. They can't stop us. Niggas run the street. Ha ha. Troubles. Cut away is my mentality. A gorilla in this criminal war, we all rebels. Death before the sun, I bet I bomb on the first niggas. Dude, we came from murder, pulling up in the hearse. West side was the war cry, busting off freely, screaming, Fuck all y'all niggas in Swahili. Pistol back and fresh out of jail. I ain't go. Is he uh, part of some type of like street fraternity? Let me know.
Um, the reason why I'm, I'm asking this mainly is because um, I know that he lived in California before his uh, his deletion, and um, to my knowledge, the uh, the street fraternity named Blood. Uh, they would speak randomly in code in Swahili. So I was wondering if that was the case. Really screaming fuck all y'all niggas in Swahili. Pistol pack and fresh out of jail. I ain't going back. Release me to the care. I'm a heartless trap. Say my name three times like candy man. Bet I roll on your ass like an avalanche. I'm so survivor. <laughs> I bet I roll on your ass like an avalanche. Definitely super Cali slang, like 90s Cali slang. I uh, say my name three times like Candyman, because if you say Candyman, uh, you know, three times Candyman pops up. I just said it three times. He didn't pop up. But you get what I'm saying here from the movies. Um, so what he's saying is that, yeah, I'm gone, but if, but I will come back and roll on you, bro. You, if my name is in your mouth, I am coming to delete you instantly. Take it high and pull dry bars. Murder my folks, can't control my nine. Hearing thoughts of my enemies bleeding, please. Bustin' ass motherfuckers tried to flee. Picture me letting this jump survive. Ran up on his ass when I dump and die. Cause I'm drunk. Young, strapped, and I don't give a fuck. I'm homeless. I live a dub life, losing my focus, baby. I'm drunk. <laughs> Bad boy killer. There is no one realer. What you saw was the rough, rugged, and raw. Yo, relax. Murder, murder, my mind state. Shit ain't changed since my last rhyme. The crime rate ain't declined. Niggas busting shots like they lost their mind. Like 25 to life never crossed their mind. Right. Tell me, young nigga never learned a thing. Dead at 13, cause he earned a bang. Sent a lot of flowers, but how could I cry? Tried to warn a little nigga, either stop or die. Mercy is for the weak. So he lost a lot of friends in his life, guys. I was by setting a lot of flowers but it would expect honestly it's expected with the life that he is depicting that he lived but um again when it comes to rappers and i understand kayfabe so i, I know that what they show to the public is, is not always who they really are right like there are a lot of like super like suburbanite ivy league rappers saying that they're from the hood and all these other things this is a, a real thing in hip-hop it's called well, we're using a word from wrestling called kayfabe. These characters all live within this kayfabe that they present to the public. But in actuality, they're nothing like what you see on TV, right? Um, and so that's kind of where it troubles me with rappers, right? A lot of rappers, they don't live what they're rapping about. Because if they did, they'd be in jail. Understand that, right? Like, I mean, they're if they really did what they say, they'd be in jail, guys, right? So... Um, this is why the troubling part of, of kind of this last verse here is uh, is troubling me slightly. Uh, since my last rhyme, the crime the crime rate ain't declined, and it it wouldn't, bro. Right? Uh, let's see what else here. Um, it's like twenty five to life has never crossed their mind. I, okay, but who is he referring to here? Like dead at thirteen because he yearned to bang. I sent a lot of flowers, and again, it kind of brings me back to the point where. Um, potentially he's lost a lot of people in his life, hence the reason why he's sending a lot of flowers, uh, or they're just people around him that are actually doing the gangsterness, right? And they're losing. Because that, because guys, that's what comes with being a, a real gangster. You, you lose. Mercy is for the weak when I speak, I scream. Afraid to sleep, I'm having crazy dreams. of my enemies, family times. God forgive me because it's wrong, but I plan to die. He to take me in heaven and as he has like some of the craziest long in outros that i've ever heard in like hip hop i don't give a fuck i'm troubled like my nigga napoleon said nigga somebody gotta explain why i ain't got shit <laughs> i'm troublesome you know what time it is the outlaw click young rugged and sick machiavelli the gun the boss all boss mussolini ed i mean hussein fatal Gaddafi. Castro, Napoleon, Pope Nitty. <laughs> we ain't fucking around. Okay, question. Why are you naming like dictators? <laughs> what? Um, like other than like, 
Like, like Machiavelli, bro. I don't. Bro, why are you talking about these people, bro? Right. All I hear is, you know, the Gaddafi, Fidel Castro, uh, Idi Amin, Saddam Hussein. Guys, this whole video is about to be flagged. <laughs> Guys, you are. This man is talking wildness. Uh, he's talking about obviously people that have just like exuded just terror. Uh, absolutely. Mussolini. Why are we talking about Mussolini, bro? In hip hop. I mean, I, I don't understand. I mean, you, these are app. I mean, you try uh, guys, unless he's trying to say that he like all the people that surround him mentally are these very specific people. I just don't know why you would want Idi Amin anywhere near you, bro. Right. I mean, that, that's a different type of like, you know, barbaric savagery. Very specific. I mean, honestly, a lot of them were absolutely that guys. Um, Napoleon. Mussolini, guys. <laughs> Let's go. We troubles. Hey yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> we troubles. <laughs> From Libya, guys. Gaddafi. But he's spelling it Qaddafi. Right. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah, def- listen from. So I've heard a couple of songs now from him, and this is easily, most likely, his best song. Um, no doubt, no doubt here. Uh, this is gonna actually end up on my, on my playlist, guys. I love the energy, the delivery. Feels like hip hop. It feels like you know my, my youth in a sense, right? It feels real, powerful. Uh, the lyrics are definitely very violent, though, extremely. Uh, you know, <laughs> right? I don't, I don't live that life, but hey, it would be nice. It would, it would be life. It would be nice to to attempt to uh, to mimic it for a little while, right? In the car, really loudly, potentially, right? While I drive through the suburbs, <laughs> so, guys. Um, listen, let me know in the comments of the next thing from him that I should be listening to, and I will get into that as soon as I possibly can. All right, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day. Enjoy it thoroughly.